Hi, this is Steve with Like Light. We've been getting some images back from our last whale shark trip, and you can see that there's a lot of different looks going on here, uh, a lot of different ways to edit your finished photographs. This is Sally's first time with camera. You see Chuck's done some nice work. I love this one by Glenn. My point is that a lot of these are very different, and these are all the same animals, basically. So. Um, a little bit of editing is what makes the difference lots of times with these images. So today what I'm going to do very quickly is show you how to work from this image from the raw file uh, using just the most basic tools available in Lightroom. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is jump into the develop module. For this image I'm going to crop it up and I'm going to square it off a little bit. I want to save some of the surface reflection. Keep in mind anything that you do with Lightroom is non-destructive, so you can come back later and work on it some more. The repair tool is going to be real important for an image like this. I'm just going to get rid of some of the really large annoying ones from now. A careful edit on this should be done in the zoom view. Do it in the zoom view and get your repair tool out and remove as much of the scatter as you can. Click done from there. Now we're going to go into our tonal adjustments. We were shooting these on um, shutter priority. The exposure is, is pretty good. We'll leave that along with the temperature. But I am going to boost the contrast a little bit. This will bring up my brights and bring down my darks and just make it a little punchier. Uh, highlights I'm going to lift a little further because we don't have a lot of them here. And I'm even going to bring down the shadows a bit. Presence. You have to be careful with this. It will often make your water column look uh, overly sharp and kind of unnatural. It's oftentimes best applied as a brush or just in portions of the image. Uh, from there, since we have cropped the image, I'm going to sharpen it. And since we have shot this at 800 ISO, I'm going to add a little bit of noise reduction to just smooth out the water column a little bit. From there, the last thing I usually do is a uh, post crop vignette, but in this case, I'm going to go back up top to the brushes and I'm going to make a brush that has a slight amount of desaturation applied to it and a little more clarity. Then I'll just make a big brush and kind of go across the animal and try to separate him from the environment a little bit. This is a pretty soft brush so I don't have to do a lot of work on it. It's finished. Lastly we'll come to our vignette. Preview it in full screen. Again, this could be cleaned up with the repair tool a little bit better. And the very last thing you'll do is export it to wherever that you're going from here. So when we export, a dialog will come up. And this is where you're going to need to know what size you want this image to be, whether it's for social media or a portfolio. Uh, but the various sizes can be filled in here. And you export, and you're done. So there you go. Thanks.